Today we're going to draw uh, angles at specific dimensions. And I'm going to start with a new project. Um, get rid of this. I don't need that. We're going to get the axis centered uh, at a good spot where I like it. Now we're going to draw the first line. What I'd like to do is uh, hit the L key on the Mac, or you can come over here to the toolbar and select the line. So I just select line. I'm going to start at my XYZ axis, and I'm going to draw this out. Now you can see on the bottom right, the millimeters are not showing decimal places. I prefer to have very specific decimal places. so. If you uh, hit escape and forget about that line, you go here to model info, you can set your precision. And right now I have it on millimeters and I just decide I'll do three digits out. So now I have 1.000, the snap interval. The angle units, the same thing. Let's say uh, we wanna have very accurate precision on the angles too. And let's do a um, five degree snapping on that. So once those are edited, we'll go ahead and start again with drawing a line, a very simple line. I hit the L key and start drawing the line. And now you can see my decimal places on the bottom right hand side are 1460.000. Let's do something more reasonable. Uh, let's just say 100.0 millimeters. So that's a very small line relative to the original scale. So escape, and now we will zoom in. I'm gonna use my mouse scroll, scroll on the mouse to zoom in. Uh, and so now we start to see something that's a bit relative. Now you notice that that's not on the red or the green axis, um, the way I drew it. I just drew a random direction. But let's uh, decide that we're gonna draw a triangle. And how about we draw an equilateral triangle? How's that sound? So uh, in order to draw an equilateral triangle, we're gonna need uh, to know a little bit of algebra or trigonometry, I mean, geometry. And so uh, an equilateral triangle is uh, equal on all three sides. And everyone should know a triangle is made up of 180 degrees. Any triangle, no matter its shape, will have 180 degrees. So uh, an equilateral triangle is going to have equal sides and equal angles. And so in this triangle, we're going to need 60 degree angles on all three sides. So the way to do that is to come over here to the toolbar. And again, this is the web-based free version of SketchUp. You're gonna select your protractor. If it's not already selected, you can find it here on the right side. The, uh, options, you can do the measurement tool, dimensions, uh, but we're gonna have the protractor selected. So now that we've drawn that, we know that's 100 millimeters. And we know, we can see the protractor is is uh, aligned with the red and green axis. It could be aligned with the blue axis if we chose to do so, but we don't want that. We want red and green. And so the important thing with the protractor is to align it with another line so you can start building your angle. So you find the end point of your line and you hit the, the mouse button once. Um, and so now you can see it just spins around in any angle but it's not showing an angle in the bottom right hand corner, is it? So that's because you need to align it with something. We're going to align it with this line. And so it shows that we're already snapped onto that line. And so you click one more time, uh, that aligns it to that line. And now when you start to rotate the protractor, you can see the angle changes depending on how you rotate. But we know we want 60 degrees. Now we could use our mouse and try to find it perfectly uh, with the mouse and you could probably get right there, it's, it's aligned, but let's go ahead and just type in a number. So we're gonna uh, let go of the mouse so it still has free movement. 
let go of the mouse, and go ahead and type 60.00. So now we have a line, a dashed line. It's not a real line, just a dashed line to show where 60 degrees would be. So to finish off an equilateral triangle, we're going to need to draw three sides with equal length. And so that's going to be a 100 millimeter line coming at this angle of 60 degrees. So go ahead and switch back to your pencil or line tool. Hit L on the Mac. Find your endpoint. Click once to start the line and start drawing out on that, that a protractor line. Now it's shorter to snap to it, so that's exactly what we want. We could do it here, but then we know we're not at 60 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and line right here on the, the protractor line, and we're going to go ahead and type 100.00 before we hit uh, click again. So 100.00 and hit enter on your keyboard, and you will have drawn a 100 millimeter line at that point. So now we've got two sides, and we know the third side is also going to be 100 millimeters, and we know it's going to be 60 degrees here and 60 degrees here to match 60 degrees here to total 180. You could do this two different ways. Uh, obviously, the easiest way is just to go back to the line tool, start at your endpoint, and connect all three sides together. Now, uh, that should be a uh, perfect equilateral triangle. But let's just say you just want to check. Let's just check. So let's go ahead and select our protractor one more time. We find the endpoint. We also find uh, the line that we want to align to. And so as long as you have free movement, you snap to that line. You click one more time, and that begins your um, degree counter. And so now you can rotate this any way you want. We know we want 60 degrees, so let go of the mouse, type 60.00. And now we have a new angle, and look where it matches. It hits right on, dead on point uh, with the other corner. So go back to your pencil with the L key. Click once at the start point or end point, however you want to say it, and draw right along that protractor line and connect all three sides. And once you've connected all three sides, obviously it's going to form a, uh, a plane in between, connect all three, make a face. And so now you have an equilateral triangle with exact dimensions. I initially started with SketchUp and thought, well, how am I going to draw an equilateral triangle? Well, I know an equilateral triangle has three sides. Uh, maybe I'll use this um, circle tool and just change the sides. So you could do that here. You see how the bottom right hand corner shows 24 sides. So when you start um, a circle, you could select 50 sides to make it a really round triangle, or you could select three sides. And look at that, you've got an equilateral triangle. The problem with doing it this way is whenever you stretch this out, and let's say you want it 100 millimeters on every side, you can see that it says a radius. It doesn't say the length. It's the radius. And so that's a little bit confusing to me. You would need to know the exact radius according to this measurement to form a 100 degree side uh, equal side triangle. So I think that's very uh, inefficient of time and energy. So I'm going to go ahead and say I don't want to do it that way. Uh, just do it the uh, way that I showed you. And that's how you do. Uh, exact measurements with your protractor making exact angles and exact lengths.